I was browsing on Reddit and I just realized that the devs have posted an update to the PTS. And honestly, this kicks ass! Oh my god! They are doing changes that make sense, that increase the customization in Blindside 2, that take advantage of the assets. We're gonna be able to fight on cold tier, and we're gonna be able to carry flashes in our pocket. We're gonna be able to plant bombs like in Counter Strike. I'm like, oh my god, this is cool. So I'm gonna read the patch notes to you, and then I'll tell you what I found the most interesting. Test server update, April 8. Outfit War PTS schedule will be running a compressed Outfit War schedule over the weekends to give players, where players some opportunity to practice and play before our first Outfit Wars event this Saturday on live servers. Outfits are required to enlist and qualify during these compressed timetables per usual. Cycles begin on the following days and all times listed below are in PT. Tactical slot and merit assets. This is the interesting part. We have added a new loadout slot to all players. This slot now houses merit reward deployables and in the future may house other limited tactical equipment. Tactical slot deployables will now be able to be restocked from the loadout screen after purchasing an initial schematic from the outfit quartermaster on Sanctuary. Tactical slot deployables. This is go! Flash XS1 is now located in the tactical slot. Caltrop has been added as a merit reward item. These deployables are for outdoor use only and can be placed to help slow the movement of incoming vehicles. Known issue, currently allied vehicles cannot pass through these but will be fixed in the following PTS update. Hard light canopy, this is cool, has been added as a merit reward system. Provide small circular cover to protect infantry against airborne assaults. Auxiliary Spitfire, oh this, this I don't like has been added as a merit reward system. Place a single-use Spitfire turret that mimics the functionality of the engineer version. Caution Bomb, this is so cool, Counter-Strike style, <laughs> has been added as a merit reward system. Deploys a large explosive device that deals high damage over a wide area, particularly to construction objects. This bomb can be diffused. So these are the cal drops. This is the Caution Bomb. <laughs> this is the hard light canopy. These high yield devices are effective at destroying enemy construct while armed. It looks badass! Oh my god! Their beeping can be heard from far off, so finding good hiding spots are important. Hard light canopy. This portable sky shield provides limited cover to infantry from airborne attack. The sky shield is earthier than the generator itself, which can be destroyed fairly easily with gunfire. Wow, look at this! Woo! Outfit now requires a minimum participation score combined between members of 3000 before receiving a base capture resource reward. Outfit who captured the base now receive their first tick of resource over time immediately. World map, multiple instances of the same zone will now associate a number with each one, for example Sanctuary 1 and Sanctuary 2. The targeting reticle when selecting Sanctuary on the world map is now le less obstructive. Culture! The island of Culture has now become an instance play space that will become available under certain conditions. During times of high server population, culture will become available to accommodate the population overflow. Likewise, during times of very low server population, culture will become available to provide a more focused play space. Awesome! Capturing 66% territory on culture will trigger a 30 minute meltdown alert, after which the continent will, lo will lock. Unlike meltdown events on full continents, Culture does not provide rewards on completion, but will increase experience gain by 25% for the duration of the event. War assets cannot be used on culture. Wow, someone built a base here! So the sanctuary, various visual improvements and art cleanup. I saw that, I saw a little drone. Whoa, what's that? Warp gate terminals have been added to the lower levels. The joint combat prompt no longer appears in sanctuary. Outfit now have access to the bastion permission type. This is nice. War asset, this is cool. The steel rain is now less expensive. So, and it creates like a swirling, magnifique, it looks beautiful. Like an incoming storm is coming, it's the steel rain. Wow, look at so this. So it creates like a preventive storm so people know it's coming. Obito strike, you cannot, uh, you know, your maximum health count count from 3 to 2. And it costs uh, a little more. Citadel shield costs much less. And veils usually cost, cost a little less, which I really like. The Molar Cannon are not going to be able wow. to shoot through spawn shields, which is a very nice change. People have complained about this a lot. The bases are very similar. There is a lot of really interesting changes, honestly. They added a new gun that's called the NS Tranquility that I've tried on the PTS. Hey man! I can use this tranquilizer? Ah oh yeah, Tranquility. 
Let's try. Infradin utility slot. This single-use infradin injector will, after a few seconds, allow the soldier to view heat signature as if they were using an infrared scope. Last up to 20 seconds. That's interesting. So a new utility slot. Something that you, you can use instead of your med kits or restoration kit or C4. It's really interesting. The miscellaneous change included in this update are optimizations to server performance based on bottlenecks discovered during times of high population. Construction objects beneath a sky shield will now greatly reduce the damage taken from an orbital strike, but will not protect the sky shield module itself. Fixed an issue where players were using construction turrets in their debuffed states while entering them while an AI module was active. Concussion grenades turning speed reduction now scale on distance from the blast, similar to the blurred screen visuals. I think this is a big nerf to the conk grenades. Some more misc changes. Desolation has received a beautification pass on the bases, and I can confirm that. Awesome, awesome uh, PTS update. I'm really impressed by what they're doing, adding new tools for everyone. Everyone is going to be able to use this tactical stuff. A little bomb, sky shield. This reminds me of the Halo sky shield. I really like that. Awesome job, uh, RPG. Clapping. Stay epic, my friends. <laughs> I escaped. I was like, GTFO! That's so cool, man. You saved me with your turret. Say what? You saved me with your turret. This looks cool. Chematic, flash XX1 uh, chematic, Corsium bomb, I wanna see that. Oh, come on! Let's go check this car, Kartlop, Kaltrop. Kaltrop, where can I use this? Whoa, what's that? I have a new, new stuff here. I have a little drone. I have a tactical now! It's epic, Kaltrop! I'm so tactical! Whoa, look at this, baby! Tactical! <laughs> It cannot, it cannot be placed outdoors. Oh, damn it. And then I have to resupply, okay. Resupply. I have a tactical thing now. Medic! No! You scared me. No! These people are peaceful or not? Are they peaceful? This guy's shooting me. This guy's shooting me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> They killed my friend! Whoa, what's that? He killed me with a tranquilizer! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I can use this tranquilizer? Ah, oh, yeah, tranquility. Let's try. I'm gonna tranquilize them. Ah, oh, tranquility! Tranquilized me. <laughs> Tranquility. This is funny. It does damage actually.